friends, hell divers, Romans, country? Wait, why are we talking about Romans? It's hell divers! And like any good hell divers unit, we're under attack again by vile automatons. For liberty, for managed democracy. We'll have to kill them. Doesn't matter how, but we will. It's not a worry. Don't worry, Ting17. You're a part of this colony now. Your reprogrammed brain is going to do us so well. And we're coming along quite nicely with these commander fatigues. Oh, good? Good! They're plenty far away. They're not going to wake up the mechanoids. What do you have for sale? You have children slaves. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How helldivery is that? Children slaves. They Their families were traitors. This is what happens to traitors' families. They, uh, Allie and Danny both believe in Sieve. Um, okay. He's valiant. He's brave. Actually, he'd be a really good helldiver. He's melee focused. If we could get him educated to becoming a shooting master... That would be perfect. Uh, what about ZZ? What good are you? ZZ is a stoner. We're not taking ZZ, and we're not taking Assassin the Defector. He's a waster. Um, stoner Xenophobe. Yeah, she'd be great for as a Helldiver, but it's the stoner that gets in the way. No offense, my fellow stoners. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. We're gonna take ZZ. We're, uh, uh, we're gonna take Danny. We're gonna take Allie. We're gonna get them dressed both. We will eventually... Uh, imprison them, convert them, and then release them, and they will become hell divers. But that's for another day. We have an automaton force just outside that we have to deal with, and we also have to dress Allie. We can't have children running around without clothes. That's incredibly wrong, and it just needs to get done. <laughs> My friends, I have but one goal today organize everything in the base and crank out a bucket load of research so we can get closer and closer to getting our Super Earth Destroyer back up and running. And of course, this will be a Gilden Earth Super Destroyer, but it will still be aligned with Super Earth as a whole, but I plan to paint this thing just a nice gaudy gold. For those of you who don't know the color code for gold, it is FFD700. That's how much I use that goddamn color. <laughs> Noble Salvation. Let's go ahead. We'll rescue Noble. We've got 13 days to do it. We can wait and take that time. But for now, well, we have allies at the base. We'll, of course, use Ting-17 to do exactly what he needs to do and bait all the attackers. That's a Scyther and a Miltor. And then we can go and handle out the turrets. God, I, there, there, are, there have been attacks over the course of this run where I'm regretting using that... Uh, that that uh, doomsday launcher so early as we did, but it was so satisfying. It made for a great story point. Speaking of story points, uh, as many of you might not know who are new to the channel and new to watching the way that I do uh, RimWorld series, I like to do the animations more than I like doing the gameplay, and I know there's a lot of people who like doing the gameplay over the animations. Um, I like doing both. I really like doing the animations, the voice acting, and the story work. Please get away from the goddamn fire so I can talk without being distracted. I like doing that voice animation, uh, voice animation, the voice work. I like doing the animations to it, and I really want to start improving the way that I do animations, and I know that there are other RimWorld uh, YouTubers that do uh, animations differently, and I see a lot of good ways that they do it. And I want to start incorporating the way that they do things um, into developing my own style that also uses the pose for me, which has been a blessing. God, we t we tanked that. We only took a few injuries. Crash, you're just bruised and cracked. Uh, a couple shredding on you. We need you to get back up in business. And lovers just burn. So we need to get them taken care of super fast. So... I like doing RimWorld uh, in this animation style, and I'd like to try adapting and adopting more of what some other U RimWorld YouTubers uh, have been doing in, in, in their styles as well. Um, because I think if you can adopt and make it something of your own, it creates a, a really good emphasis on how you can develop a better story. Um, as you all know, there's so many people who are inspired by uh, other media as well and that's uh, a lot of a lot of me is is being inspired by what other people do and create lissa you are 
you are a broken down human being. And the fact that I, warg hunting alley, how? God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting distracted on all the things by all the little things. Like, this is a complete wreck of a human being. Cataracts, hearing loss, artery blockage, and dementia. And then one of my fresh new slaves, a nine-year-old girl, is just lost a finger, is being hunted down by a warg. Crash, get out there and save this kid so we can start adopting her. I, I, oh, God, there's a toe. Please don't shoot the kid, Crash. There is enough things wrong you could do. Oh, she's going to bleed out. All right, we killed the we killed the warg. Warg is dead. We're in good business. <laughs> so, as I was saying, the inspiration is there from so many other forms of media. I get inspired by so many different uh, creations, creatives, and there's a lot of different ways that uh, animations can be done with RimWorld, and I want to improve on my own animation style. I want to improve on my own storytelling, and I want to make what I do better. And so, with that being said, it took me a while to get here. Thank you, Distractions of Rim Rim. Uh, we are going to be doing an every other day episode so I can get an animation out at the beginning of every episode moving forward. And maybe animations mixed in between. What we are going to do, because this colony has become overridden with Labrador Retrievers, and don't mind you i said last episode labradors are a fantastic breed of dog for you to have we're going to keep labrador one and we're going to keep labrador three because they are two of our starting labs we're going to get rid of the male and he's going to go with his puppies and we're going to give them to Seaf allies and our Seaf allies can deal <laughs> with having labradors however Seaf allies let me tell you this if i find out that you're selling dog meat at the end of this there is going to be hell to pay. I don't think I could come back from that knowing my allies are selling dog-based food products. Zeta wants to join. Believes he'd be happy in the Helldivers Forward Command. Perfect. Zeta, you are already really good at shooting. So I think as long as you survive getting older, I think you could make yourself a fantastic Helldiver. What I would like to do is I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking about the design of the Super Destroyers. I want to have four super destroyers to represent four hell divers if possible these super destroyers are going to be astronomically big and very long um and i don't know if we're going to be able to make it but if we can the way i see it is one hell diver will be focused on drones another hell diver will be focused on uh probably mech creations another will be different forms of weaponry and calling in these different forms of weaponry. Why can't we put out this fire? Why is no one thinking about putting out the fire to the, the slave holding? Please. Why is the door not getting put out? Somebody. Put the fucking door out. The door burnt down. I hate this game. <laughs> While Crash takes his own sweet goddamn time. Oh, he's already there. I was just about to criticize him. We are going to run power through the entirety of the uh, secret base thing. I can't remember the name of it. Ancient Danger. There we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of all these Labradors. Oh, look. It's like I'm, it's like I'm a Labrador breeder. Fantastic. 923 silver. They have the Capricorns. Hmm. We could use a good horse. They also have dromedaries. They have medicine. We could definitely use the medicine. We need cloth, but I think maybe we get a quest first. Uh, Seaf command, one colonist, 13 years, two vanimetric power cells. Why wouldn't I do that? Oh my God, that's so fucking easy. We are taking, by the way, with us. I have Crash coming home. He's, he's going to be taking one of the Capricorns with us. That's uh, what Torrent is in Elden Ring is a Capricorn, apparently. So that's what we're doing. As for who's going to go to the Sea Allies, I think it's going to be Lover. Lover really isn't that important of a character to me right now. He's not got the best shooting stat. He's not going to be that defensive. So I think we get rid of Lover. We get him gone for a day and look at our Capricorn. And we're going to name him something very specific. And if anyone can come up with a better name than Tarrant, let me know, but right now I think he's going to be the bastard cousin of Torrent. <laughs> Welcome, Torrent. You never found your maidenless tarnished. <laughs> 
It's degenerate behavior. We have been struggling with food. And right now I am murdering half the map just to get food. That boom rat wasn't a big deal. We've got rain and this entire pack of boomalopes is going to be our next basis for food. So let's start killing as many of them as possible. It's pretty much meat for this entire fall and winter. There's nothing else I can do about it. We are struggling with keeping crops grown because I haven't put up walls to prevent things from walking in here that shouldn't be eating my fucking crops. These are little things that I need to keep remembering. The other thing I can't remember if it works or not, I I think I tried it in the early days and I think it worked. I don't have a real basis for it. And Crash, just shoot the fucking cougar. Come on! Goddamn hell divers. If there could be a mod, by the way, that allows uh, r gun units to shoot in melee range, that'd be great. I would love that as a mod. But I swear I remember putting psychoid leaves around crops kept animals out of it. Kind of like putting up uh, bluebells uh, around your crops keeps them, uh, keeps uh, rabbits and, and, and whatnot and, and other critters out. Outlaw Camp, Sea Trader, Sci Extreme, two Venometric Power Cells. I'm just getting Venometric Power Cells up the ass. This, this has to be broken, right? They're only small, sure, but we have like, Seven of them, I think. Maybe it's only six if we get these two. Either way. We're doing good on the food front. I just need Castell. I probably need a bigger freezer. We have plenty of trash bags full of pollution and garbage that we can utilize. And a raid from the Seaf Traders. Let's do a quick uh, dumping. Ooh, he's got a malaria. <laughs> he's got a malaria grenade launch. I don't know why that was so exciting. Uh, we're doing a weak defense. We've only got you, 17, and no one else has a weapon. I'm not going to put my, uh, guests up against, uh, any enemy forces. Luckily, though, we did steal those, uh, mini defense turrets when we rescued, uh, who the hell did we rescue? Lips. We rescued Lips. Lips died, of course, like a loser. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Luckily, we've got the defense turrets. We've got allies covering some of the defense for us here. Rebecca Lynx Edwards. You're actually doing some good work. You brought him down. Don't die. Maybe I could pick you up. If you stay alive long enough, I'll try recruiting you. He's running. He's getting shot. Uh, is he going to get in line of... He got in line. He's just within range. Barely. Why don't we do a pursuit? That was a pretty easy raid defense. Finally, we had something other than mechanoids. You know what I had to do? I had to change Storyteller. Don't use the... Uh, don't use the Save Our Ship 2 Storyteller because she was kicking my ass with Mechanoid Raid after Mechanoid Raid after Mechanoid Raid and I was getting nothing out of it. I need more of these Seaf Traders coming in. I need more of the Neanderthals. I need, uh, you know, I need these people who are betrayers to come in and, and service what I have here going on. Let's rescue Zombie, Tyler Zombie Mills. I'd love it if you would become an ally with us after we rescue you, but I know we'll just send you off and you'll increase our relations with uh, the Seaf allies. For some reason, they don't trust the lone Helldiver that just landed here. Crash landed here, I should say. God, we have a good amount of clothes and armor right now. Well, we don't have armor. We need to make armor. Armor would be the most important thing we could get going right now. Gerald wants to join. I'll accept you, Gerald. How good are you? Oh, you're fantastic as social. And you're good at crafting. You're not as good as Lissa, who's been doing her crafting. She's got 20s across the board for crafting. But you are a fantastic social character. I think... I'm thinking maybe later we turn Gerald into our... Um, hmm. We could make him our democracy officer or our shipmaster. Shipmaster's the moral guide. So if we turn them into the shipmaster, our democracy officers are commissar, because that's how I kind of view the democracy officer. We'll give you the charge rifle. And you might, if, if you think I'm wrong on that, if you think I should change the ideology, um, impacted refugee, here we go. All right. If you think I should change the democracy officer and the shipmaster, I don't think I should. I think the shipmaster needs to be that moral guide. Um... But, and, and Democracy Officer feels like more of that Commissar. When you think about the, the lore of Helldivers and the way that they operate on the ship, we, we're going to melee boom rats right now just to save 
this noble guy, and this feels like the dumbest fucking thing I could do in my life. Please. Please just... Alright, perfect. Perfect. Let's go and rescue him and get him up off the ground. How are you looking, Nate Noble? You're 59, a young sniper in your fringe shit poster. Likes winter. Alright, you're okay. You could potentially be somewhat useful. Ah, uh, I just I just don't see it. You'd be a miner. You'd be a you'd be a base worker if anything. Once we get you going underneath the wing, but <laughs> I don't know if this was a worth it rescue. It's an extra body to the colony. Uh it's an extra it's an extra body to the base, but I don't know if he's worth it. I need speaking of workers uniforms, I need to find uh work attire. There we are. There's work attire. So Work attire is going to be separate from the side diver uniforms, which we've got people getting ready to get in right now, and the hell diver uniforms. And after a lot of thought, I think Gerald becoming our shipmaster is going to be the best possible choice for the entire colony. He's got a double passion in social, so it makes sense for him to be the one who's going to be doing all the converting and getting everybody over to the hell divers doctrine. So, I don't know if we should have a mix of Seif and Helldivers, but I'm really feeling like we should have everybody who's in our base aligned with Helldivers Doctrine. And as long as that's the case, we know what our goals are, we know what we're going to try and do. Holy shit, effective conversion ritual. Gerald, you're perfect for the fucking job, man! <laughs> oh god, that's instant. Let's go ahead and expand your little uh, talkie house here until we can get you your own special shipmaster room uh, on the on the Super Destroyer once we get there. And now we can add the extra pews. So that way we meet at least a four pew kind of setup. We won't be able to do six unless we go out to the sides a little bit. And let's go ahead and do another conversion since we got the effective conversion ritual. Let's hope this is good. This is, this is going to be one of those RimWorld character rolls high. This is one of those RimWorld characters that is just, like, meant to have these high rolls. And look at Allie, drawing narwhals. You couldn't ask for a cuter kid. And we're going to have to get these kids situated over to being members of the colony instead of uh, here as, as forced employers. And f forced employers, slaves. As forced employment, employees. <laughs> He's showing minimal personal growth, complaining studying, architects is boring, regular nightmares about being chased by a wolverine. We could make him restless, but let's go ahead and make him a gastron gastronomist. God damn it, I can't pronounce words. My Lex Dixie is getting the better of me today. You're going to be good with food. Because <laughs> at some point, Costello needs to be less there. Melissa had a heart attack, that artery blockage. Fuck. And we can't remove artery blockages. That's something that should be allowed to do, is do a surgery to do artery blockage removal. Let's add prosthetics to the end of the queue here. So that way we can get you your own heart and have you looking better, Melissa. If I can turn Melissa into a new human altogether. Ooh, Allie! Uh, minimal personal growth, complaining that learning about gene editing is boring, wishes to spend more time drawing pictures of kind animals on the floor, narwhal, but is too busy worrying about being chased by a tough waster. Could do eccentric or great memory. I feel like great memory. For some reason, I feel like if she's already learning about uh, gene editing, I feel like she's super smart, but it's just boring because of how smart she is. We're going to rename the Agri... The Agri Hand Jerry Can. And if someone can come up with a better name than Jerry Can for our uh, our non-standard Hell Divers drones, let me know. We are going to need a bigger barracks for when the kids get old enough. So let's start shifting everybody over, especially since research is going really well. We can take some time to put some other members of the crew onto constructing new beds and new assignments here. We'll just have to move the wall over. And a raid, Oaks Ohm Mech Hive. I don't remember putting Mech Hives in here, but they are in here, and it feels like that's all we've been getting. Despite us getting a raid from Seif Traders, we're at 82,000 on our total wealth, and we've been hit by so many Mech Hives. I'm getting tired of it. 
It's four scythers. Callan, go ahead and draw them back. We can handle four scythers. We've got the wall defended. We just need to pull them back. Provided you hit something, Callan. I swear I put his accuracy as his focus for his uh, traits expanded or uh, skills expanded and uh, or proficient. I can't remember the name of all the vanilla expanded mods. They do such a great job. I love that team. Oscar, Sarge, they, the entire team behind Vanilla Expanded is just fantastic, and they deserve a lot more props than they get. Um, I know a lot of their stuff doesn't meld together, but they do such a good job. You know, there's always one thing that I've never understood was the community consensus about embrasures. I don't know if there's people that hate them, but I feel like everyone genuinely feels like you need embrasures for RimWorld because it just gives you that added layer of defense. Whereas like sandbags are great, but when you've got melee characters like this bastard right here, who's charging at us with a knife, it just makes things a bit more difficult. And I know the, the design of RimWorld is you need to have melee and shooters to kind of mix things up, or you could mix in stone walls so that your characters can hide behind the stone walls and peek out and shoot behind them and then have other melee units. But embrasures just feel so appropriate for RimWorld because even the enemy can shoot back and kill your pawns on the other side. Let's go ahead and see if we can get her. Crafting, artistic, medical. Yeah, we could definitely take you with us. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the wizard. <laughs> Come on, bring him down. His accuracy's terrible. There, ooh, captured. Nice, we could take him too. Uh, 53. Ooh, crafting 15. Medical 11. Intellectual 11. Well, lady, I was gonna take you with us, but you decided to stand up and you got domed by Kellen, so that's not happening anytime soon with you. <laughs> Ting, you look so goddamn cool. Look at you, man. That construction at 17 is helping us out so well, along with that animals. Ting's been a huge aid to this colony. I don't know where we'd be without him, and it feels like such a treacherous thing to say. As someone who loves Helldivers, having Ting be so useful feels so incredibly just wrong as a Helldiver fan. Uh, if you exceed 231 toxic waste packs, everything else looks great, but again, Silent Neuroformers, I'm not thinking about that, but with the waste packs, an Arcotech liver, which we'll give to Callan, and it's just gonna make things easier. Yeah, look at that. Toxic resistance plus 50%. That's gonna make all of our war crimes later on in this series even better. And a skill trainer of social. We're gonna give that to Gerald. So let's go ahead and get you, not noble, not lover. There we are, Gerald. Let's go ahead and give you that. And you're at eight right now. How high can we get with you? Oh, to 14? Oh, that is awesome. That is amazing. Oh, I love RimWorld sometimes. This is great. Not sometimes, I love RimWorld all the time. We're allowing Ting to operate on our Helldiver. Do you know how wrong that is? The best part is we've got the mill tour right here, so maybe if Ting fucks up, the mill tour will just blast Ting into oblivion and there it is. But I, I love the trust that we have in allowing an automaton to operate and work on our Helldiver. Like there's nothing wrong with it. And it worries me in so many ways but yet it feels like it's meant to be as a part of this story. Like Ting became this character that dropped and was already allied and almost reprogrammed from scrap metal and code and mechanics that maybe he was, maybe, maybe Ting was a lost, uh, was a lost mechanoid that crashed and burnt up on re-entry, but there was still some of him left over and that's how he became. Ting, 17, ally to Seif. Right now, we're just waiting on Lissa to finish making her own heart as we have to do a big slaughter of ow, ow, bleh, 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 of all of our <laughs> uh, lambs because it's too much of a drain on our resources and we did not have good harvests this year. Again, because traders come in with muffalo and muffalo ate our hay grass and then we've just struggled getting all of our hay grass to grow. So that's been one problem. What now? Grand Slave Rebellion. Oh, come on. Really? Two kids? Grand Slave Rebellion? I don't want to have to do this. Can we not? 
can can we not alley can you you're at 91 percent and you're you're rebelling in a grandiose way couldn't you just rethink this decision crash shoot a 10 year old i can't believe i just said that good thing it's it's gonna be later in the video <laughs> I can't believe you'd say shoot a 10-year-old. Hey, she's fine. She's living. Look at her. She's great. We'll patch her up. We'll get her right as rain. Uh, let's stabilize her, please. And get her taken care of. And then Crash. Crash, I don't want you shooting Danny because you are accurate with that. And I feel like if you shoot Danny, you're going to kill Danny. So let's go in and punch him. Because punching a, I think he's like 14, maybe he's 12, I don't know. It's just, let's just punch, punch Danny. Just, I can't believe I'm saying to punch a kid. We're punching a 10-year-old. So that means Allie's still 9, Danny's 10. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, what did I do? I punched his head off. Oh, I punched a kid's head off. What did I do? Oh, oh, Crash. Crash, that went so wrong. That went so wrong. He had so much promise. He had so much going for him. What did you do for managed democracy? <laughs> for liberty. <laughs> he was clearly a communist. We clearly had to do it. He was a fascist bot sympathizer. And a communist traitor. He had to have his head. I can't. I can't rationalize it. Look, I could try for days. I will just bury him with with honors. No, no, no. Lifter, put him down. Let's get the. How did you botch digging a grave? Everyone is picking this kid up. Build the goddamn grave site. Where'd the kid go? Someone took the kid away. Let's assign colonists. Um, Danny. Let's just type in Danny. He's not there. Oh fuck. Is he not considered a colonist because he's dead? Um, let's just allow all. How about now, Danny? No. No, it's not letting me do it. Oh. He doesn't count as a colonist after dying as a slave because he had his head punched off. Who knows whose corpse that is? Maybe that's not really Danny. Who knows what happened to Danny? Can you prove that's Danny? Where's the dental records? I don't know. We just one-punched man his head off. God damn it. <laughs> Alicia, Allie, little lady, you're gonna get returned to a slave bed and then we're gonna take care of you inside the prison and get you all set up for life. Holy shit. That's a lot of vanimetric power cells, but we could get another person. 42, baseliner, shooting double passion, melee double passion, animals passion, social passion. Stumpy, let's get you. You will make an amazing hell diver. You're not Stumpy. You're Aesop Gates, minister of hell divers. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, you're a melee warrior. Let's get you. And uh, mechanoids are here. Let's see what they're dropping with. Shouldn't be too bad. Architect, Psychic Suppressor, cool. Gates, melee it, because nothing's attacking you now. Nothing's activated? Nothing's activating. That feels like a bug. That has to be a bug, right? Nothing's activating upon melee hit. The turrets aren't working. We're just going to be able to destroy one mech assembler with, with impunity? Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Give me a moment. That's better. Too much laughing with RimWorld. <laughs> And here it is, Gates just being able to do absolutely everything by himself right now. It feels wrong. He's, it's the shield belt. It's the shield belt. The mini sluggers aren't both firing at me at the same time. So the shield belt is tanking everything right now. That and we were perfectly nestled inside the lovely bosom of its blind spot of that inferno turret. Yes, I just, yes, I did that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take out that other mech assembler once we destroy this. Oh, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Gates, move. Thank you. Don't get shot up by that. Oh, there's the other mini slugger. Okay. So we take out the mech assembly. Gates has soloed this. If this is the case, 
we need to make Costello a better melee weapon, and we need to get him a shield belt as well. Holy shit. We would have the most unstoppable Neanderthal ever to exist in this world. Let's go ahead and take out the rest of this base and see what Stumpy brings us. Xavier Stumpy Bowman. Double passion shooting. Look at that. It's just so good. Neurotic, authoritarian, and ascetic. You are the perfect Helldiver. I think we're coming up to start having one of the best Helldiver squads possible. We just need to get him away from his ideology of being a prime army. Now, Lissa is finally done with the prosthetic heart, so let's get you a new ticker my little craft ticker. Then we have to get her new eyes. Then we have to get her a new brain. <laughs> Maybe it, it might be better for her to get a new brain first and then we do her eyes. But we've got hearing loss, we gotta fix, we got the bad back we gotta do. If we can get her to be a new body altogether, I will be excited. Barkfaz arrived for another little quest underway. The more quests we do, the more things we get the better off I think we're going to be. Now, the one thing I don't know entirely, and someone down in the comments, if you can let me know, that'd be great. Stumpy tried to convert you to his own ideal. No, you do not convert my future hell diver, you son of a bitch. Although you did actually help by bringing his resistance down. Here we go. Poaching, uh, safe traders. Okay, you guys won't bother us at all. There's plenty of stuff out in the wild for you to go hunting. So I think they'll be fine. We won't have to worry about them at all. They're not stopping, are they? There's boomalopes. You want to go sh shoot the boomalopes? You're still coming. All right. Man the defenses. <laughs> the one time. I don't expect anybody to be bothering us. And here you guys go directly for the base, trying to get in here to take us out. And it's just the worst possible thing that you could do. 17, go there. Melissa, go in there. Let's get Costello up and down here, please. I'm gonna need you to start whacking people with your axe. I have to get on getting him a better set of armor and weaponry. Oh, the blood animations mod is so fucking cool. I love it. It's a good sense of extra gore to RimWorld, and with them adding the crawling to pawns that are alive and looking to get to safety, it just adds that extra little tick. Look at this. We finally have a garage. I missed having a right proper garage for all vehicle creations last series. This series, we are gonna go completely out of control on our base, having military vehicles that we can then deploy up to our uh, super destroyer and then redeploy back down <laughs> to the planet when we're ready to use them. Raid Seaf Traders. Oh my god, it's barely been a day. And they are dropping right into the base. Okay, never have I wanted to have point defense systems more in my life than I do right now. So that way we could take them out and not have to worry about it. Let's get all of our gunners on the outside. Costello, let's keep you on the inside and you can do some ass cracking. Let's get all of our uh, 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 civilian personnel that includes the children into cover so far so good let's get everybody mounted on the walls and into position we'll take our so here's one thing I have decided to do is our uh, personnel so noble and lover who are our base personnel Lissa will become base personnel I just have to unlock all her clothing for some god awful reason why did you kill my dog you fucking bastards and you killed the Miltor, that's fine, I don't care about the Miltor, but you killed my dog trying to defend its base. That is a good dog, that is why we have Labradors. So all of our base personnel, we're gonna equip with shotguns. Uh, I feel like that's a good just base defense weapon. Uh, who's not shooting? Seventeen's uh, not shooting. Costello, why don't you get in there? Noble, you are bleeding out because you're not actively shooting back because you have a sawed off shotgun which has less range than a regular shotgun. Move Ting back up and get Ting in a position to start taking the rest of them out. Costello, I need you to just go buck wild. Take out that one with the chain shotgun. That clearly looks like he is a traitor to all kind. Come on, come on. He's wearing recon gear in that mini turret pack. Take him out. Costello needs a better melee penetration weapon. He, he is a fantastic character to have. I'm loving this guy right now. He is... 
he's doing work. Now that we've finally got him back up and running, we're figuring out how to play him a little bit better as a Helldiver, which he is going to become a Helldiver. He's going to become a melee specialty Helldiver. We'll probably give him a chain shotgun as well at some point. Uh, you'd be worth capturing. Okay. Uh, good Labradors. Good Labradors. We got the other one inside. Let's capture. Oh, you're unwaveringly loyal? No. We'll just melee you to death. Go ahead. What about you? Can we capture you? Unwaveringly loyal. Okay. Finish off strange. Callan, are you going to be able to get this last one? She's pretty good. Rebecca Lynx Edwards. I feel like this is the second time I'm seeing Rebecca Lynx Edwards. Is it? It is. I just looked back at the recording. She came to us originally in the very first raid. She was 50 and not as good. And now she's back to us here. And now she's dead again. <laughs> She de-aged, got better, and then died. God damn. Well, maybe if we find another Rebecca Lynx Edwards, maybe we try to get that one to join us. We are going to bury the Labrador Retriever, and I think that gives me a good idea. I was going to use my original ship name for uh, Crash's uh, Super Earth Destroyer, which is Emperor of Family Values, and I think now we're going to call it Lord of the lab or lord lord of the labrador lord of the labrador or labrador lord maybe one of those uh to name our super destroyer i feel like that's got to be what we name it and an engraving on this super on this structure about when uh labrador gave birth to labrador oh was this one of the puppies this was labrador 2 this was one of the puppies well all in all a good sacrifice Labrador 3 gave her jaw and tail to fight off a warg that tried killing one of uh, the kids. And I think moving the Labradors into the barracks is the right call. And I think that's going to be a good spot to put an end on today's episode. We are almost to a point where we can start grouping all of our resources together, maybe building a large storehouse and putting everything away so we can start constructing our super destroyer. We're getting close to that research. I need to get a high-tech research lab built next episode so that way we can officially have the ability and the capabilities to get our super destroyer in the air and get ourselves off of this godforsaken planet so we can blow everybody else up and leave nothing but Seif allies and the Helldivers on this world. That includes the Neanderthals. Sorry, proto-humans. You're gonna die. You have no choice. You can die or join. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining me in today's episode. Shout out to the patrons. Thank you so much to the patrons for supporting the channel. There's a link down in the description for Patreon if you want to support there. You can also support by becoming a channel member here on YouTube, or you can always support for free by hitting like, subscribe, bell notification, commenting, and joining us in the Discord and letting me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it, and I'd love to see you in the Discord, become a part of the community, throw your ideas out. I have just put in today a brand new channel that will uh, be taking names from the community to name up our Helldivers or Seif personnel in the future, and then this will go on for series down the line as we go. We'll keep the names list and we'll just keep bringing it down, 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 further, further, further. Thank you all for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode in a couple days. As I said, every other day will become our releases and we'll have an animation. I look forward to seeing you then. Peace.